Hey, it's Rico with No Boring Concrete again. So here we are, if you didn't watch the previous video, we actually, screw it, I'm just gonna edit it to the thing. So what I did, uh, what I mentioned previously was we're going to see if we can fix this table that I messed up, that was my wife's a little hot in here. Um, so anyways, here's the table at hand. Um, what I started doing, uh, quick scenario if you're just tuning in, I put some hot uh, pizza boxes on here and then it started messing with the finish which was probably a wax of some sort and then it just left a white uh, really white ugly thing and I cleaned it up as you can see I've, I've dulled down quite a bit so what I did is I took this uh, scotch bright pad and some denatured alcohol to just kind of weaken up the surface and then I've been following up with just some regular acetone and a rag just trying to clean it up in the past I've used a scraper I poured the material on the top use a scraper and just kind of like moving the scum around or whatever is starting to gel up and then try to wipe that off and then go from there so I haven't used a scraper one I was kind of uh, reluctant on damaging or thinking I would probably damage the wood somehow um, because it's not a hard surface in, in, in the sense of concrete or stone or something like that uh, but what I did, you can tell this that front half from like that line, that way, you can see it's all completely matted out, deglossed. The material, the coating, whatever that crap is, has been removed. If I rotate this table around, and I'm using the light in my in the background as a guide. You can see from that line going that way, there is some residue left. You can kind of see it as you go over it. There's different sheen depending on where the light catches it from above. You can see the discoloration in that corner there. And then like I said, you can see where some of that still needs to be wiped down. But in comparison to this half, it's all been cleaned up and wiped down. So when it's all said and done, I'm gonna do a final wipe down with a like unused clean rag. And then, like I said, I'm gonna put on some concrete sealer on this mug because that's all I know, you know? I use acetone and alcohol for my concrete floors and concrete tops and I use concrete sealers for that stuff too so that's what I'm gonna use here and the great thing is I've tried it numerous times in public locations commercial spaces residential stuff like that so I know it's gonna work and I'll show you a final walkthrough when it's all said and done but I just wanted to give you guys a little tip if you have something with a, a sacrificial coating of wax of some sort you can definitely melt it off with some solvent cleaners wipe it down nice clean and sound and then put on the sealer of your choice it can be a wood sealer in my scenario i'm using concrete stuff anyways uh keep following if you want to see the final outcome of this thing and uh, we'll see where it goes see you. 